This is News You Can Use. To start this year, 2022, we hosted a meeting with Doug Duncan, our good friend, senior vice president and chief economist with Fannie Mae to discuss his latest economic forecast and housing forecast for the year. Over the years, no economist has more accurately predicted what's coming next for our industry than Doug Duncan and his team at Fannie Mae. He shared a wealth of knowledge that we'll be sharing with you in bite-sized pieces over the coming weeks. The housing market's going to be different this year. It is every year. And in some ways in 2022, it's going to be more challenging. We all just need to adjust to the new conditions that exist so that we can find our way to our best this year. Check out Doug's insights to help you become the most informed professional possible. Doug Duncan, Happy New Year and welcome back to News You Can Use. Good morning and Happy New Year. Doug, we're always grateful to have you share your gift with all of us so that we can better position our businesses. But today, I think we're even more appreciative as the world has, well, it's got a few things going on these days, right? And a couple of years ago, when COVID first surfaced, you used the word unprecedented, and it seems to be the word that continues to be the best word to describe not only what's happening with the pandemic, but really the consequences and, and otherwise in the economy. Omicron now, right, the latest word, supply chain issues, inflation for the first time in 20 years in our economy in a housing market with an unprecedented, there's that word again, shortage mm -hmm. of supply and an unprecedented appreciation rate in terms of the cost of housing. Hopefully, our exchange, you can add some clarity as we launch our businesses this year and really position them so that we can maximize the potential for ourselves and all of the folks that we are stewarding. So mm -hmm. let's get started if you don't mind. Yeah, please. Let's go. All right. So let's start with the overall economy, the U.S. economy. In your team's forecasting for the U.S. economy, 2022 GDP, inflation, talk to us. Tell us what you all are expecting. Yeah, um, reading the headlines, it, it would seem as though uh, some people are suggesting we're heading to a recession. What we're actually doing is slowing from uh a, a stimulus invoked very high level of, a, of a growth coming out of the, the initial stages of the, the uh, pandemic. Now growth somewhere in the 6% range uh, in 2021, that'll slow, we think, to somewhere to three, three and a half percent in uh, 2022. But uh, it's just a slowing, and there is debate among economists about what, how fast the economy can grow without inflation. Of course, there's that word. That's one of the three things I hear 90% of the time these days, which is, what about inflation? What about interest rates? What about house prices? So we're right on target with the things that, that matter. So the, the, our expectation for inflation is that it will run higher than what the Fed uh, has uh, in their uh, forecast, if you look at their most recent quarterly projections. Um, and of course, that's conditioned on what they do. So uh, while we have some assumptions in our modeling about what's going to happen, they can change that by the way they change the conduct of monetary policy. And you mentioned supply chains. One of the places we probably differ with them, and they've dropped the word transitory. I looked that up in the Oxford English Dictionary. It says not permanent. That's a lot of wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> so they've dropped that uh, because they've seen that what they were attributing simply to uh, supply chain issues is bigger than that. And we also have a little difference of opinion with them on what is meant by supply chain issues. Our view is part of what's going on is a restructuring of supply chain, not just bottlenecks in the supply chain. And restructuring takes longer and is expensive. That's part of the reason that we think that uh, inflation will run ahead of what the Fed thinks. Thank you, Doug, for offering your insights to all of us. We'll be back next week with more news you can use.